you think? Good. Yo, yo, what is going on, everybody? It is Thursday, September 19, 2019. And I'm just getting out of work for the day. I forgot my vlog camera at work. And uh, so I'm using my little cell phone here. And it looks pretty good. I don't know what the resolution is on the front facing camera, but oh well. I wasn't gonna make a video at all, but um, figured I'd just say hi. Um, sold some more stuff on uh, eBay today. And I'm working on learning a little bit about iSCSI SAN stuff. So I found a old server, a decommissioned server, that had, I guess what it is, is it like an, is a iSCSI HBA or something. And uh, this one that I had is, is a PCI card, PCI Express card, and it has four ports. And I was like, I wonder if this thing will work in Windows. Um, specifically, I'm running Windows 7 on an old machine. And uh, I've never played with iSCSI before, let alone anything to do with SAN. So at work and just in general in enterprise uh, um, data centers and stuff, they use a lot of um, storage drawers or storage shelves is what I call them. So it's basically like a rack mount shelf that can hold um, 15 or 24 or 25 hard drives per um, shelf and uh, I got a lot of these things laying around so the things that I built a couple weeks ago it was essentially like a complete server with the drives in it and everything and it's fucking huge you know the thing depth wise is probably more than two feet deep um, these iSCSI drawers, they hold 15 drives, and they're maybe about a foot deep into the rack, and like, I don't know, 17 or 18 inches wide. Um, so basically, I think they use a lot less power, um, but you, there's basically like no computer, like full-fledged computer or server built into these um, drawers. So I tried it out, I, I installed the card into the Windows server, and Windows 7 automatically picked up the card itself. So I didn't have to like try to track down drivers, which I was having problems finding. I tried to find the drivers first, but uh, I didn't even need them. So that added four iSCSI ports to this server. I'm like, okay. So I, I you know, racked up a uh, one of these drawers or shelves with 15 uh, two terabyte uh, SATA drives in it. So I don't know what's that total roughly 30 gigs or something And uh, I was like, okay, let me see I, I, I don't I didn't know like if I need a special software or anything like that. So what I did was I um, Plugged it in I suppose he uses special um, connectors or special cables and Windows, after a little bit of time or whatever, and a couple of reboots, Windows displayed like, I don't know, 17 uh, additional hard drives. I think it was 17 because like a couple of those individual drives were, were partitioned or busted up. I was like, wow, that was kind of relatively easy. So I was like, okay, so that's pretty badass. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm trying to figure out how to properly set up an iSCSI NAS. Um, and it's not a NAS, it's more of like a SAN. So NAS is a network attached storage. iSCSI, the way it works from my understanding is you have essentially a server that, that these uh, drawers are connected to and then that's set up as a target. And then on all of your other computers, you set up an initiator that points to that target. And once you kind of link the two, 
on your um, remote computer, let's say, those hard drives are served up as if they were connected locally to those machines. <coughs> Very cool technology. Whereas a NAS, it's a network mapping via like an IP address or something like that. Um, and it's the file share setting or setup is different. So it's more of a network share type of thing versus a, uh, you know, with this iSCSI, it, it, the way it interprets it and, and everything, it's like it's a local drive. It's pretty cool. So I was working on that today. You know, I'm trying to figure out a system or a method or a way of being able to format um, SAS drives. So my disk sanitizer that I bought for the SATA drives will not work with SAS. So SAS and SATA, they're...